now my privilege to invite Professor Joseph Wong, Vice President International, to present our honorary graduate. Patrick Jiba Uwa, Jr. Patrick Uwa, founder and president of Ashesi University, is a visionary leader committed to the future of Africa through the education of its young people. Founded in 2002, Ashesi University has received widespread acclaim and global recognition, most recently ranking first in Ghana and seventh in Africa in the Times Higher Education Impact Rankings. Born in Ghana, Patrick attended Swarthmore College in the U.S. on a full scholarship before pursuing a successful career as an engineer and leader at Microsoft. Committed to creating opportunities for African students to develop and refine their critical thinking and their ethical leadership skills, Patrick left his role at Microsoft, earned an MBA at Berkeley, and returned to Ghana with the audacious intention of founding an entirely new university. Over the past 20 years, Ashesi has grown to a community of over 1,200 students, 47% of whom are women, representing over 20 nations in Africa, who receive an education which prepares them to develop and pursue solutions for the challenges facing their communities, their countries, and the continent. Patrick Wood's transformative reach extends beyond Ashesi University, he recently launched a consortium of over 150 African universities together to co-create standards of excellence in learning, teaching, research, and innovation for African higher education. Patrick has received many, many prestigious awards and honors, including the Order of Volta, being named the Fortunes List of the World's 50 Greatest Leaders, the World Innovation Summit for Education Prize, as well as the MacArthur Fellowship. For his outstanding service for the public good and excellence in the academy as a purposeful change maker with an inspiring and outstanding commitment to global education and a deeply rooted to desire to do good in the world, Madam Chancellor, on behalf of the Governing Council of the University of Toronto, I ask you to confer the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa, on Patrick Jima Awoa, Jr. On behalf of the University of Toronto, and by virtue of the authority vested in me, I have the great honor and pleasure of conferring on you, as I do now, the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honors Causa. Thank you very much. Chancellor Patton, President Gertler, members of the board, distinguished faculty and staff, family and friends, and class of 2024. Thank you for the invitation to spend this special day with you and for awarding me an honorary doctorate at this esteemed institution of higher learning. I feel very privileged to be here. Class of 2024, Congratulations. Let us take a moment with loud applause to celebrate you and to thank all those whose contributions have brought you to this day.
I would like to tell you a story this morning about my motivation to start a Shesa University that I haven't spoken very publicly about until today. It is a story from my time at Microsoft about the actions of a senior executive there during the genocide in Rwanda 30 years ago. A call to action that he made during a gut-wrenching historical event that none of us had anticipated, but that gripped the attention of the world. His name is Mike Murray. He headed the business unit that I worked in, and he started a grassroots fundraising effort to provide humanitarian assistance to the citizens of Rwanda who were caught in a nightmare. I contributed towards that campaign, and I started paying even more attention to what was happening in Rwanda. As an African living in America, I was impressed to see a man who didn't have any particular connection to Africa take the steps that Mike did. I was embarrassed that I had not even thought to engage with a problem that felt frankly beyond me. But that event, in a way, got me to start thinking more intentionally about what I could or should do to contribute towards a brighter future in Africa. And when my son was born not long after the events in Rwanda, I felt an even deeper sense of responsibility for the continent that he and future generations would grow to represent. As you have heard from my introduction, I would eventually choose to step away from Microsoft to return to Ghana and to help advance higher education in Ghana and in Africa, an education tailored towards preparing a new generation of leaders whose integrity and positive sense of purpose would usher in a brighter future for the people of Africa. 30 years since the 1994 Rwandan crisis, I am grateful that I made that decision. Today, in classrooms at Ashesi University, I get to see future leaders of Ghana, Rwanda, Kenya, Nigeria, and many other African countries sitting together and thinking through what it means to build a good society. I get to hear their ambitions for their societies, and I see them working to develop the skills and character to pursue those ambitions. I get to see Ashesi alumni building businesses and doing impactful work that is helping change the lives of millions in Africa. I get to hear the stories of Ashesi alumni who are supporting peacekeeping and peace enforcement efforts on the continent, including right now in Sudan. Sometimes, I wonder whether I would have embarked on my present course if Mike Murray had not sent out that invitation to engage with Rwanda. There are three important aspects I would like to emphasize about what Mike did. First, he acted, which is to say he did something instead of nothing. Second, he invited all of us to join him in doing what we could. Third, it was an act of love, pro-positive, filled with light. So filled with light. In his engagement with Rwanda, Mike did not see us and them. He just saw us, fellow humans. We do not, as individuals, get to determine what major historical events our generation will be called upon to deal with, what major technological advances might emerge in our time, what challenges, what opportunities may present themselves. We do not have the ability individually to direct the big movements of human history, but we do have the ability to play, each of us, 
some small role within the larger narrative to push humanity forward, and we should. Your education here at the University of Toronto, one of the world's preeminent institutions of higher learning, has prepared you especially well to be among those whose decisions and actions can advance the world we live in. Out of this institution have emerged great scientists, engineers, educators, physicians, leaders in national and global politics, some celebrated and famous, many making their mark quietly. You will walk and work among men and women such as these. I love the charge of the University of Toronto to defy gravity. It holds a vivid image of escaping the gravity well, of resilient upward motion, of reaching beyond our current circumstances towards the stars. It urges us towards action in communion with others towards the light. I have every confidence that you will defy gravity and make your mark. Congratulations on your achievements thus far, class of 2024. I wish each of you a life filled with purpose, accomplishment, and above all, with love. Thank you and Godspeed.